all right so let's see what we have here here is the front I cleaned it out and it is extremely clean now uh, it was a little difficult to get everything back together and make it look correct because I did have to put it back together at least three or four times uh, I did get a tip from uh, some source online that said that if you have any uh, mold or fungus or anything hydrogen peroxide and uh, ammonia will take care of it. Well I just use hydrogen peroxide and 91% uh, rubbing alcohol. So this part, these two, and this element on top is now officially clean. Uh, let's say the back of the lens element behind the actual shutter, let's say that the inside is kind of jacked up. Alright, um, inside there are two screws inside here. Okay, and it's going to be inside here, you just undo them screws, and then this back, this is going to come off. Well, inside there is this washer, which mine is extremely beat up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up sticking it back in there, but I need to get a new one. I need to just find a replacement. And here's the lens element. Uh, make sure you stick it in the right way, the correct way, because if it's concave the other way, you're going to get a different effect, which some people like, but for this sake since I'm taking it apart and cleaning it I want to do at least one roll and make it back to original this in here I'm not gonna mess with um, I saw something about how intricate this is in here I know that it really isn't that bad but I'm not gonna fool with it I'm just I'm not going to I might oil uh, the spring in there with some uh, watch oil or something but there's all sorts of little itty bitty hands and arms and such in here and it's like it's a little bit too much to mess with right now I mean I'm struggling just to get everything back together on it right now but next time it'll be easier and next time I'll go further I'll do more inside there but right now we're gonna concentrate on just cleaning cleaning the the lens the actual lens that's on the inside because as I said in my other video on the outside it's just a glass like slide from a microscope so, what I do is, let me get everything set up here. All right, take a Q-tip, get it wet and clean the inside out with uh, hydrogen peroxide, probably because it's gonna have a little bit of mold, maybe a little bit of nastiness in there. And you wanna use one of these. It's like a lint-free uh, LCD monitor screen cleaner. That's a wipe. Uh, I'm going to use this to clean it afterwards. Uh, and then I'm going to put it back together and then hopefully shoot it. Uh, just be very careful with how everything goes back in because as I said before, there's not that many sources and I have not seen any videos about how to actually clean these things. So hopefully other people are going to find this informative and I would love comments and suggestions also if you guys have anything uh, else that's that's cool with this and this guy I don't know look at this I mean it's just like it is just a mess it's all bent up and it's tarnished and nasty but right now for the sake of me cleaning this out these two things I'm just gonna clean them both up and stick them back in and I'm gonna just hope for the best it this camera would probably last another 10 years of normal use I would imagine if you did the things I'm doing now uh, with the exception of oiling and maintaining the inside. I mean, I'm amazed that this camera is this old and this is all that I really had to do to get it to work because mine is totally functional, like everything's working on it. Uh, keep in mind you want to keep the spool, um, the original spool that came with it, it's going to be a 620 spool I believe. Uh, you want to keep that so whenever you send it out to be developed or whatever, tell them that you need to keep that because it's going to be a pain in the ass to find later if you lose it. That's just a little a little ditty you can stick any other 120 up in here in the top one and that's how I I would suggest doing it just 120 in the top and the 621 down here so then whenever you send it off tell me you want to keep this uh, hopefully this is a little bit better than my last one I have a little bit more more pieces here and it's kind of daunting to look at so I'm gonna put it back together and I will see you guys soon thanks